top games that try too hard to be edgy. Hey, are you like hardcore? Do you do hardcore things but your mom says you can't say swear words? Well run up to your room and power on your games machine because I have the list for you. Pokemon Black and Blue, PETA edition. Oh PETA, you're always saving animals in the worst way possible. Never mind that you kill almost all the animals you rescue and DMCA anyone who reports on that fact. You should spend the money people gave you to save animals on making bad Pokemon mod games. This creepy Newgrounds looking game was supposed to make the point that Pokemon is basically a dogfighting game, but the point is so brutally pushed into the player's face that it ends up being a joke. HATRED! I just fucking hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. Are you insane? That's what I want and you will tell me, or I'll make you die. At the time of the Hatred release, the gaming community was in turmoil. A heated debate was being had about the need for offensiveness versus sensitivity in gaming. And here came Hatred to really stir things up. At the time, I suspected that it was trying to get free press by being so controversial, and boy did the press fall for it. A wannabe postal game that pretended it was the first boy at school to be emo and everyone else was a poser. Hatred didn't quite have the gameplay to back up its big talk. Although some people who enjoy edginess for the sake of edginess did find enjoyment in it. I personally thought just running around shooting people didn't really seem that obscene to me. Agony! I was actually pretty hyped for this Yonic themed horror game. I had played the demo, and other than technical problems, I enjoyed the themes of hell and some sort of demonic overlord that I identified as the goddess. Memories tear apart my soul, consumed by the endlessly burning fire. She is the key to the gate of unending agony. However, when the game hit release, all those expectations fell flat. Instead of like, you know, improving the game engine and gameplay, the developers chose to add in baby killing and first person rape. Which, don't get me wrong, I'll kill a baby any day, and I think rape in the context of horror can be done well. But if your whole game is bad, and you never put any sort of story into the game to give the rape and baby killing meaning, then it just seems like you're throwing in shock to cover up your shortcomings. BMX triple XXXX. Do you like bikes? Do you like boobs? Oh, then I have the game for you. It's BMX XXX B BMX X BM triple X. X? Leave me alone, Mom. I'm playing video games. Don't come down here. Wait, hold on. Mom, don't come to the basement. Whoa, Dante, Dante. So easy, Motherfucker. What the fuck happened to my ride? Ay, smooshy, smooshy. I hope you didn't cut yourself on that edge. I guess I should make it clear that even if I think these games are dumb, they do have the right to exist. But I still have the right to say that they are stupid and bad, which they are. If you want to hear more of my dumb opinions, follow me on Twitter, or maybe check out my Twitch channel for rants about nothing while playing video games.